Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss data blending in Tableau and then there are some use case of data blending and why we need data blending and limitation of data blending. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is data blending? Data blending is used to connect the data from multiple data sources. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a data in SQL Server and MySQL and any other cloud. So uh, how you can connect the data from these sources? You can use data blending to connect this data. Data blending require at least two data sources which are independent. Okay. And data blending works similarly to left join. So how left join work is so left join gives all the data from the left side table and the matching records from right side table. Okay. So data blending divides the data into primary data source and secondary data source. So this is uh, decided based on the order in which fields are used. If we are using data from second data source first, then it will become primary data source and other will become secondary data source. Okay. So primary data source uh, is indicated by blue check mark and secondary data source is indicated by orange check mark. Okay. And data blending works sheet by sheet. Sheet by sheet means in every sheet we can change its its primary data source and secondary data source. Okay. Now, why we need data blending when we have relationship and joins? Because we know join is used to connect the data from single data sources. We can't use join when we need to connect the data from multiple data sources. And by using relationship, we can connect the data from multiple data sources. But if we want to connect the data from the published data source, public data source is basically the data source which is published on your Tableau server. Okay, we cannot use relationship as well. So to overcome all of these problem, we can use data blending. Okay. So for this, let's add two data sources. I already have sample superstore data set. Now let's add one more data set. Go to data, go to new data source. If you want to connect any databases, you can go with your SQL Server, MySQL and there are many connectors available in the Tableau. As of now, I'm using Excel and open it and go to our sheet. Now you can see we have two data source. One is sample superstore and second is accelerator. Okay. So if you drag the field from sample superstore data set, it will become primary data source. Okay. And you can see a blue check mark is assigned to this data source and let's drag values from here you can see a orange check mark assigned to second data source okay and now i want category from accelerator and profit from sample superstore okay now you can see our accelerator becomes primary data source and sample superstore becomes secondary data source okay now Tableau automatically establish their blend relationship between them. If you want to see all of these, you can just go to data, go to edit blend relationship. And here you can see these are automatic relationship created by Tableau. And if you want to go with custom, you can just click on custom and add it from here. Okay. As of now, I'm keeping automatic and just click on OK. Now, as you can see, we have taken category from accelerator and profit from sample superstore okay when you search category in sample superstore you can see this link is enabled for category okay now if you drag subcategory from here you can see the link is enabled for subcategory okay if you want to break it you can just click here and the link is broken okay this is how you can establish link from here as well okay now how blending works is it aggregate the data first and then combine it but in joins joins combine the data first and then aggregate it to discuss it let's create a calculated field let's rename it profit ratio and we need profit now let's divide it we will take sales from sample superstore okay now let's drag it okay 
if you look at this number we have not added some it automatically added here because blending aggregate the data first and then combines it and as you can see there is a dot notation as well before dot it's showing the name of this data source and then field name okay and then just click on okay and we have created for this profit ratio okay this example is just to show how blending aggregate the data and then combines it okay now let's discuss the limitation of data blending first limitation is data blending has limitation around known additive aggregates what are known additive aggregates except min and max every aggregates are known additive aggregates okay second one is we cannot publish primary and secondary data source as a unit we need to publish both primary and secondary data source as a independent on tableau server then blend the published data source okay third one is data from secondary data source uh, must always be aggregate in calculation this is we already discussed when we create calculate field in the video okay and last one is if you are blending a cube data source cube data source is basically microsoft analysis service it must be primary data source okay thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos